would be a tough for him to beat little Jake, a seven-year-old dachshund who lives in the town of Longview. He did something the other day that is just a little hard to believe, but it's true. He called 911, and we have the tape to prove it. Steve Onisorge with a story in our Life Watch tonight. Little Jake has a lot of energy. He is rotten. And gets into, into things he's not supposed to. He's got a mind of his own. Tuesday night, Scott Tigg left him for a few hours, and Jake started playing with the phone. Carried the phone to the bedroom where he was laying. <laughs> Maybe he was lonely, or who knows what, but he actually dialed a number. 911. Oh. Now, it's not unusual to get strange calls here. No, it's not. But this one? Hello, Cobb County. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yes. The comm center had to check it out. It might be Lassie calling for help. We did send police officers out. Longview fired up the patrol cars, rushed to the scene, but... No one was at home. Well, no one but Jake. <laughs> the phone was on the bed. The redial showed 911. It really happened. And not something Scott taught his dog to do. <laughs> he picked it up all on his own. Now, it is against the law to call 911 with a false call, but I don't think they'll be putting this pooch in the pound. He's now part of 911 folklore. But all the ruckus doesn't seem to phase Jake. Have you given him a stern talking to? I don't think it'll do any good. But the phone is off limits. From now on, when we leave the house, we put the phones on top of the refrigerator. If he makes it up there, uh, we're going to have to call Guinness. But not 911. In Longview, Steve Onisorge, WBTV News 3. That dog is too much, and that story is just too hard to believe. But hey, you heard it. Little Jake is already becoming a legend. Copies of that 911 tape have been requested from all over the country, including a 911 expert who's conducting a training seminar this week in Utah. Oh my gosh, I can just see him on David Letterman, can't you? Outside tonight, it's a nice evening.